What's up, billionaires? Mitch Durfee coming to you from the Gaylord Palms here in Orlando. Uh, I'm at a multi-family Jake and Gino conference here. And as I flip it around here, you can kind of see all these people are moving and shaking. Check out this chandelier game. Uh, all these people are getting deals done right now. So I want to jump on here real quick because for the last two days, basically, there are just people that are sharing information, people that have really just realize that there are two things that are holding people back from whatever it is that they're working on. Um, and it really makes me think like, I know for myself, I got really big goals, right? But I also know that over the last few years that I wasn't able to do any of these things on my own. And then when I get to a place like this and I look around, let me show you this. Look at this freaking incredible hotel. This thing is literally ridiculous. And I remember back in the day when I would drive past things like this, and there would be a couple thoughts, like one, like why not me? Like why can't I? Why can't I do this? And this place is so magical, so big. I'm gonna walk over to another place over here. It's just inspiration, right? So we got more people doing deals and shaking some deals down. But uh, check this thing out over here. Some old photos. Bam. Like. So so I look at these things, and and when I see it, right? A couple different thoughts. One, why not me? Like. What's holding me back from being able to accomplish something like this? Have you ever thought that? Have you ever like been working on something and maybe you compared yourself to someone else and you're like, they're getting like these incredible results. How are they able to do it? I'm putting in the hours, I'm waking up early, I'm doing my miracle morning, I'm hitting the gym, I'm not getting the results. Like, I know I got big goals, I know I can achieve big things, but like there's something that's holding me back. Well, it's either two, it's one or two things, right? It's either education or action. But when I say action, like education you can get, right? You can look up the information, you can figure these things out. But if you really want the shortcut, like the fastest path is literally partnering up with someone or getting mentorship from someone that has already done it. Like this hotel, like when you look at this hotel and like, like you see this, like there is no one person that could build this entire space on their own. Like this is not a one person project right like in order for you to like even like even think about something this big like you have to figure out who you can align with who you can partner with whether it's the money the designer the architect the, the uh, contract crews like like it's a team to be able to build something massive now how do you get people to actually join in with you right how do you get these people to say hey you know what you're the person that I want to partner up with you're someone that I I believe in and you're something that like you know whatever it is that you're working towards I want to align with you right so how do you get them to do that well that comes down to having a massive vision right the person that woke up one day and said you know what, I'm gonna build this giant like Gaylord uh, you know Gaylord Palms resort like they had this vision and when they showed other people the vision, they were able to get other people, investors to come in. They were able to get like designers to be like, okay, yeah, I can kind of put this, these thoughts together. But if you have a massive vision and you align with the right people, you can, uh, what's up, man? How are you, John? How are you, buddy? Live, live. Yeah, yeah, I'm going Facebook hey, Live. how you got, doing? Got John here. John's birthday was the other day. Yeah. A young man, young man. Totally young. <laughs> young at heart. Awesome, man. Good to see anybody. I yeah. you went home last night. Yeah. Oh. So again, like, like partnerships, right? Like, like John, uh, John's here from Florida. John's been in the multifamily space. He's been fixing and flipping. And the same thing, like when you have these good partnerships with good people, you're able to really just shorten that path. Now for me, myself, right? Like I love business. I love growing businesses. I love real estate. And I also know that like when I was in the army, right? You know, it was like an army of one, you know, put it on my pack, I'll carry it. Like, like I don't care how much weight's in my backpack, I'm gonna carry that weight and I'm gonna go as far, as fast as I can and I'm just gonna take that mountain. Now, for eight years I did that, right? I worked really, really hard, I carried the load, I beat my body up, I sacrificed like my time, my energy, my effort, like everything to be able to like just kind of push that bar forward. And then I realized like when I was in Afghanistan one day and like after working 12 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 for 15 months, I realized that like, hey wait, like one year from now, if I'm still doing the same exact things, I'm gonna be in the exact same spot. I'm gonna be sitting here between two toolboxes and I'm gonna be making the same amount of money. There's no way for me to take it to another tier. And that was when I got leverage, right? The leverage came from real estate. I started to look at rental properties and I bought a fourplex uh, from the back of an MRAP in Afghanistan, and that MRAP really set me on this path. Now, if I knew what I knew now, 
then I never would have bought the fourplex, right? So I like so having education is a really big thing, but like also like when you can kind of like just take just take like the information that you have and just move forward, even if you don't have all of it, like that that action is what gets you past it. But now that I know more, if I look back, I never would have made I never would have moved on that deal. I would have aligned with other people. I would have took the money that I had and I would have invested with someone that actually had some experience in that, right? Like if I partnered up because one of the big things that I'm challenged, like I'm challenged with now, is getting like the banks to actually, actually lend for me. <laughs> yeah, man. What's up, Battle? What's up? How are you, man? Yeah, how you doing? Again, just talking about partnerships and how partnerships bring you forward faster. Absolutely, you can't do it without partners. That's it. I love it. Man. Can't be greedy. I love the shirt, by the way. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take care, man. Oh, I love it, man. Just that, hanging out here in the halls again, like all these people are at, at this conference. That, uh, but yeah, going back to it, right? Like you have to align with people that. Or have these bigger visions, right? So if you have this massive vision, you want to build a big business, you're trying to do it on your own. Well, find someone else that is in the same path, the same like same forward progress, and align with them, and just like combine your resources. So going back to what I was talking about with the banks, like right now where I'm at, like I've been able to buy, you know, a pretty decent sized portfolio of of rentals. But even from like when I was buying, like I bought that fourplex. Uh, from Afghanistan, but when I got back, the banks told me, no, we can't lend to you again because you just got back and you changed your career, now you're self-employed, right? If I knew what I knew now, then I would've said, fine, let me just go partner up with someone else that has this W-2 job that's been there, and then we can combine our resources and then we can get into it. But I waited two years. And this summer, the same thing. I tried to refinance a property and they said, no, you have too much debt out there with all your rental properties. Um, the only way that you're gonna be able to do it is if you have someone else co-sign. And again, like they're literally showing me the path, but like I was too like, uh, you know, too, I guess driven, right? Like in the army, right? Like my ego kind of got in the way. It's like, you know what? I don't care. I'll just go make more money. I'll push even harder. I can do this on my own. But it's not like that. Like you have to take a step back. You have to look at like the big vision. You have to focus on what it is that you want to achieve and you have to share that vision with other people around you. And, and when those people can align with you, you're going to like literally just like, like just in a second, you're going to be able to get those results. Um, and now the reason I'm sharing this with you is because like, one of the big things that I'm going to I'm going to focus on here in the next the next uh, 2020, right? You know, I have this big goal of 2022 of building a skyscraper. Again, cannot do it on my own. But in 2020, my biggest goal is to align with people, and I call that the Dream 100, right? There's a couple books out there uh, on what this is, the Dream 100. There's like. If you just take time and you build out a list of 100 people that you want to do some kind of business with or partner with, or you can see yourself working with, like when you actually like focus on like bringing value to those people, um, you know, not asking for stuff, but just like saying like, hey, what is it that you're working on? Um, how can I help you? Take some, take some of that weight off their place so they can go a little faster and then carry it together, right? Like in the army, one of the things that we used to always do when we were ruck marching, and it's, it's, a, it's a great, great metaphor, but I'm sure you can relate it in your life, but imagine like, you know, you have a group of people that are going down the road and I'm carrying a saw and I got my backpack and everything like that and I look to the left and the guy's limping, right? He's carrying all this weight and he just can't carry it anymore because he's got blisters on his feet, but he's still moving forward, right? But I can go over and I can carry a little bit of that weight. I can take his backpack off and I can carry his backpack, right? That's basically what we're doing, right? They're working forward. I take the backpack, I carry it for a little bit. I hand it to someone else on the team, they carry it for a little bit. I hand it to someone else on the team, they carry it for a little bit. But by doing that, every single one of us can, like when we have those energy spurts, when we have those, like, those big pushes, like we can get over that hill. And the Army taught me that lesson, right? But the Army also taught me like, you know, the other side of things. So. So again, 2020, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for, like, I'm gonna build out this list of 100 people that I want to do business with, that I see myself working with, that I see that, you know, they have good values, good core values, they have, they're driven, they're entrepreneurial in nature. And, and also at the same time, like, uh, I need other people that can fill in like the resources that, that I'm not very good at, right? Like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like Maserati Mitch. Like, I wanna go fast. But like, there's times where like with paperwork, like some of my old people on my team, like they would bring me a piece of paperwork. Hey Mitch, can you read this? I'm like, what do I need to know on it? Like, I don't want to take all that time. Like, so I need people that support me in that kind of stuff too. So like, so finding like those things, those, those things that I'm weak at and finding people that are very, very good in those things, those are great partnerships. Um, so for me again, like 2020 is going to be a really big year. I'm, I'm setting up now. Like I think we're like less than like 75 days to, to the end of the year. And I'm setting up now for what I plan to do in, in 2020. So one, over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be building out this list of my dream 100. And 
and, and putting names down on that list and reaching out to these people and seeing like what I can do to take some weight off their plate so that hopefully together we can do something bigger. Uh, and I'm, I'm so excited for that. So if you're interested in, in going further faster, uh, you know, just drop a comment below and say, hey, like, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, partners 2, 2K, 2K20, right? Just drop in like a little comment, say, hey, I'm interested or something like that. But again, like if, if you can relate to any of this where you know you've done like you're pushing really hard and you're not getting the results that you feel like you can get, like you've you've been in, uh, to a point where um, you know it's like you're getting tired, you're getting a little burned out, you feel like you should be farther than where you are right now. Like just take a step back and think about it. Like who around you can you align with that's going to carry you a little further, faster? So these are, these principles actually are in my first book, Serve to Win. Uh, I don't know if you ever picked up my book. It was a number one national bestseller about uh, two and a half years ago. And, and that book was literally just based around like eight principles that are gonna take you further faster. And yeah, right here we go. Exactly, guys, I love this right here. Two horses can pull more weight than one, right? Partners 2K20 and beyond, thank you guys. But it's true, right? Like all these principles I put in this book serve to win my first book. And the reason I did that was because like, I knew what it took for me to get to that point when I had my business and I was growing the business and, and everything like that. Like I wanted everyone to just be able to grab those resources and be able to just like, to just, you know, dive right in and start to like put those to work. And now that we're a couple years forward, like I really don't promote my books that much. I mean, yeah, some of you guys would say I do, but like, honestly, like I feel like I'm doing you guys a disservice by not telling you about these books because it's a light read. If you pick it up, you're going to like, I've got, I've had comments from people who are like, dude, I read your book. I made it to chapter two and like, they just feel this like energy inside them. I want that for you. So if you've ever felt that way, you felt like you have got stuck, you hit a wall, you're, you know, you deserve more, you know that there is another level and you're just not hitting that level, like, just like say, hey, look, you know, next year is my year, I'm gonna start right now, and uh, you know, share this message with other people, right? And let them know, like, look, hey, look, I'm looking to build this Dream 100 list. I know, I know I can achieve more, and I know I wanna do it with you. So guys, that's it for now, I'm gonna get back into this conference, this multi, uh, again, all this came from the fact that like, at this multi-family investment conference, like, everyone in here, they're not doing it on their own. They're not buying these man like they're not buying these two, three hundred, four hundred unit buildings on their own. They got teams around them. They're building the business deep, and they're working with their greatest partners. And I want that to be you guys. So if you want to partner up or anything like that, you get some ideas, and uh, you know, let's come up with a great big vision and let's do it. All right, peace, billionaires.